Hello, this video will discuss the use of offsets for robotics. When trying to program the robot, one of the things that you will want to probably do is to be reasonably efficient with your use of points. The more points you use, the more memory required for the robot, but possibly more importantly, if there are any changes that have to occur, if you teach all of your approach and retract points individually, then if you have to update the program because something has been moved, something has been altered, then you would have to reteach all those points. If, however, you use offsets to get to some of those points, then you only need to teach that initial point over. It could save a significant amount of time when you end up having to ultimately update or modify your program. For the most part, offsets are based off of the global coordinates, not necessarily user frame or tool frame. And different robot manufacturers may approach the use of offsets differently. And so one option is the way FANUC does it. And they use something called position registers as variables. And as you can see from the screen here, I have a position register number. And then I have multiple elements that I can adjust. Mitsubishi, on the other hand, allows you to define a offset variable and then apply that via math to an existing position. Mitsubishi also offers a parameter to the move command that will tell the robot to move to that position, but with a global Z offset of a programmer specified value. And then, like I said earlier, you can also do a fully calculated offset on the Mitsubishi. When defining your offset with the Mitsubishi controller, you need to treat it as a position. And so when you declare your variable, as you can see on the screen here, you are going to need to give it X, Y, Z axis information for the offset. And then you will also need to give it A, B, and C axis information, which is getting back to roll, pitch, and yaw. You also have to tell it whether or not there's any offset for any additional axes that have been defined. And you may or may not need to use the structure flags. So I've gone ahead and opened up a program in RT Toolbox 3. And the program that you are currently looking at is set up where I have a defined amount of offset that I want to apply. And as the program runs, it continually adds the offset amount to position P10 so that the robot incrementally moves up with each iteration. If I change the value of A, B, and C, and then save the file, you'll see that when we run the program now, the robot not only moves up 50 millimeters at a time, but the orientation of the arm shifts as well. One of the things you have to be careful of is setting an offset value that is cumulative and that could potentially accumulate to a value that is outside of the range of the arm. As you can see here, we have thrown an error because the arm cannot reach the position it was trying to get to. And that is what the 2802 illegal position data error is getting at. As I mentioned before, the other way to affect an offset would be to use the offset parameter available to the move, move straight, move circular types of instructions. The program I brought up does this. As you can see, it's a smaller, more simple program. It has a variable and then it multiplies that variable by negative 40 to affect an offset to the move P1 instruction at line 40.
This video shows the FANUC robot moving through five points, but with only one taut point, it uses two variables or registers to calculate the position for each subsequent point in the program. The reason for the increase in spacing is that each subsequent offset has been added to the previous offset amount. And similar to what Mitsubishi does, Fanex says that you can add your variables together to get a new position variable. Fanex also offers an option where you can control just a single axis or element of that position register, which can be really handy for some applications such as palletizing. So hopefully this has made sense. That's all for now.